What's going on guys? I hope you're having a great day. As promised, I have a major update for you regarding Shelby Oaks, one that I am so incredibly ecstatic to talk about. That is that we officially have a distributor. It's hard to communicate just how monumental this is for an independent film, not just because of indie film in general, but indie film right now and the state of the industry. It's a very strange time for filmmakers right now trying to break into the industry or people who are still in the industry just looking for work, which is why I am so grateful that a company like Neon has acquired worldwide rights to Shelby Oaks and is beginning to work on the global strategy for the film. So Neon will be releasing the film theatrically in the US with more updates to come for the rest of the world. But here specifically in the States when it's going to be released next year, it will probably be playing in a theater relatively close to you. This honestly is everything that I have been working for since I was 14 years old and decided I wanted to make movies. And it's been 22 years of trying to do that and a lot of ups and downs, a lot of folks telling me to just give up, people in various positions of power throughout my childhood and the religion that I was raised in just telling me quit don't do this, you're wasting your time. And people ever since then telling me that I'm wasting my time or that I don't have what it takes and, and you get the door slammed in your face figuratively quite often when you're trying to get a film off the ground or trying to write or whatever it might be to break into the industry, you're gonna hear the word no quite often. Somehow you have to have this insane ability to see the future that is possible or manifest a version of the future that you feel you can attain. And you have to be able to see that so clearly that you're able to deal with an endless amount of bullshit that stands before you to get to that place. And it's honestly the same with directing. You have to be able to visualize whatever the thing you're working on, a short film, a music video, a feature could be and ignore all of the problems that come before that because you are so sure that, that thing in your mind can be created and you just barrel through all of the issues to get to that perfect version of what you hope it could be. And that very obstinate, naive, ignorant version of myself that's always been able to do that since I was a teenager was able to somehow know that if I just keep going, I'll eventually achieve this dream. Shelby Oaks will be released in theaters by the company that has won the Palm d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival for the past five years in a row. The company that put out Parasite and won Best Picture. And I cannot even tell you how grateful I am for their contribution to this, for how amazing it's been to talk with them. The people at Neon are insanely supportive. They love movies. They're huge fans of movies. Neon is truly doing things that are innovative and I could not be happier that Shelby Oaks has found a home with them. And I can't wait for you all to be able to see it, whether you come to Fantasia later this month and see the premiere with me, or you hit any other places it might be showing throughout the year, or you end up seeing it in a theater whenever it's eventually released. And I'm overjoyed that it's going to be in theaters. It's not going to debut on a streaming service. No shade to streaming services, but I really, really, really wanted to make a movie for theaters, and I am so happy that's going to be happening. I can tell you that when I was shooting the movie, I was telling my DP, Andrew Baird, I was like, this is going to end up dumped somewhere on some platform. You're going to have to scroll 10 rows down, then 20 rows over, and then eventually there you'll find the movie, or they won't even be able to see it on the homepage, and it'll just get lost. So not only am I overjoyed about this, but I, I truly am shocked. I really did not expect this, but we worked our asses off on this movie. We had such an incredible crew. Our producers, Aaron B. Kuntz and Ashley Sneed and the people on the Paper Street side, on the Intrepid side, Mike Flanagan, Melinda Nishioka, Trevor Macy, all of the people who've come together to make this movie happen. And of course, the most important contribution were all of the backers which are many of you through Kickstarter, who I will always thank. You guys made the movie possible. You allowed us to just go make the thing and not have to worry about all of the Hollywood stuff that might have come, more roadblocks that were in our way. You allowed us to just vault over all of those. So thank you, thank you, thank you once again. 
And I am so glad that you guys get to go to a theater and see this thing. I am just overjoyed that Neon saw something in it. And I, I, I can't believe it, honestly. They were a dream company. When I was making this movie, if someone had come to me and been like, what's the, the number one place you would love for this movie to be? I tell you, honestly, I would have said Neon. And that is not hyperbole they would have been the pick. But then I would have said something like this. I would have been like, well, neon, but that'll never happen. But it did. I don't use this phrase often, but this truly is a dream come true. It's everything I've worked for since I was a kid. All of those backyard movies and amateur features and running around the woods dressed up like Indiana Jones have paid off. It was all worth something. <laughs> you guys get to go see Shelby Oaks in a theater. And I hope to see you at festivals later this year. Thank you to Neon. Thank you to everyone who made this movie with me. And thank you guys for your contribution to the film. If you backed it, you are absolute superstars. Thank you so much. And I also want to let you know that tickets for Fantasia are on sale right now. You can see my movie at Fantasia July 20th in the 9.45 p.m. slot. The link to purchase tickets is in the description below if you're in Quebec or nearby or you just want to come to Fantasia in general or you're already going to be there. Come see our movie. I would love to have you there. Definitely check out that link. The tickets are still available. I hope to see you guys. It's going to be extremely exciting. Look forward to more videos very soon, guys, and I will be back with some updates regarding the film and festivals very, very soon.